A person's development is dictated from as early as in the womb. Your economic status has a significant control on development and effect on life chances. The money which your parents bring in ultimately determines what sort of life path you take. In modern society, the structure of family can affect development. A child who lives in a one-parent family may not receive the same level of attention as a child who lives in an extended family. Huster in 1987 proposed parents' involvement in their child's participation in sport on a continuum, from over-involved to moderate to under-involved, and deems that a moderate level of involvement from parents promote the best level of interest in their children, even if it means sacrificing personal interests. A study conducted in 1994 by Power & Water demonstrated that parental support was positively correlated with children's enjoyment and enthusiasm in swimming. Whatever family structure a child lives in, the family and parents ought to ensure that they provide the care, education and support that the child needs. The culture, beliefs and values of family life have a direct influence on the child's learning and development, and the behaviour and morals are learnt through primary socialisation within the family. Exposed to the right environment, children can thrive in their development as they mirror their upbringing and personal characteristics, according to Gias, Clinio and Thomas in 2010. In addition, the location of where the child is born and grows up is an essential factor in their development. It regulates the facilities that they can access, what they can take part in and social interaction opportunities. The story of Jesse Owens and biological perspectives explores the location factor within sporting success. Cote Baker and Albanothi in 2007 say birthplace is an important environmental factor that influences early exposure to sport and long-term expertise. Those living in rural areas have access to many natural learning environments which can enhance fine and gross motor skills. Their interaction with the outdoors provides an intimate and supportive environment that offers several favourable characteristics for talent development including easy access to spaces supporting unlimited and variable play opportunities, early exposure to sport activities, competitions with older peers and broad cross sport experiences, according to Baker et al. in 2009. Families that live in urban and city areas are likely to have access to early year settings and a variety of learning opportunities, such as playgrounds, sport clubs and leisure complexes. Access to these facilities can enhance development and growth. However, Cote et al. in 2007 argued that larger living areas could be less conductive to expert development as they provide less facility access and environmental support for sport development. In addition, a 2014 study conducted by Lenore, Arnon, Mayan, Gershon and Cote of Israeli women ball game players demonstrated that different sports in the same country provide mixed findings. While being born in a medium-sized city, was advantageous for achieving expertise in handball and basketball, whereas being born in a smaller city was beneficial for expert development in volleyball players. These findings support the notion that birthplace is a proxy measure to understand the developmental circumstances of athletes, but results needed to be contextualised in the geographical situation of a country and sport being examined. Children have to rely on local opportunities to aid their development. Parents have a responsibility to ensure that wherever they live, their child does not feel deprived and can have a range of experiences to support development and may include travelling to sport facilities or supervision. Linking back to the beginning of the video, the income of families differ significantly and can have a vast impact on development. One family may have two incomes if both parents are working, others, however, may be dependent on financial support from the government. Saskatchewan Ministry of Tourism, Parks, Culture and Sport in 2008 said children whose parents participated in sport were more likely to participate in sport themselves and children from lower socio-economic status households were less likely to participate from those in higher socio-economic households. Diet can also be dictated by the family's income. Children require a balanced diet with all the essential nutrients for growth and development. A child's diet has a direct impact on their development and ability to learn. For example, if they skip breakfast, they will have a lower ability to concentrate, yet in comparison to those who eat a healthy diet, will be much more attentive and eager to learn. Morning Sheriffs in 2011 argued that good food choices will not make a mediocre athlete into a champion, but poor food choices may prevent the potential champion from realising their potential. A study conducted by the University of California in 2011 showed how a mother responded to economic stress affected her child's development. 
Those who responded negatively were shown to have more negative communication with their child. Negative influences can damage a child's self-belief as explored earlier in the video. Many social and economic factors affect a child, their development and sport expertise. But as long as they are exposed to every opportunity their family can give them, talent is often shown. It's the same case with child genius. Often the child is nurtured to develop their talent through social factors, but also hard work, which is explored in the nature-nurture debate in previous videos. The right support and environment can help a child thrive and explore their whole potential.